younger, people didn't really believe in me, apart from my parents, because I got in a fair bit of trouble. I thought I was worth something more, so I took what chances I could. And luckily, people ended up seeing some potential in me. They thought, as did I, I could do something more. When I was eight years old, my mum had a stroke and was in hospital for about two or three years, and so I had to go and stay with my mum. My life changed a lot when I moved to my nan's house in Hoxton. I miss my mum really a lot during that period of time, and it kind of reflected in how my schooling went at that time, because it made me very, very angry and not a very nice child to be around in the classroom, but I was very, very angry and that came out in my attitude a lot and the way that I spoke to people. But it wasn't actually really what I was feeling, it was just the anger kind of took over my personality and changed me into a child that I probably wasn't at home. I just was once I closed the door and stepped out into the street. Because of the trouble I was getting into at school, my mum was regularly called into up to the school and because she was out of hospital at that stage, but she was very much just out of a wheelchair, just able to walk, so she hobbled quite well, but because she had to keep coming up the school, it was like a vicious cycle. She would come up the school, people would see her hobbling, they would take the mickey out of me, I would fight, and then she'd kind of be up the school again. And the teachers wasn't addressing it, because it was kind of bullying, it was bullying, and I wasn't the kid to be bullied, so I just kind of fought and fought and fought my way through. During that time, the only thing that really held my interest was sport and things that I could do after school. So I went to the local youth club and submersed myself in any kind of sports, tennis, table tennis, swimming, anything that I could do, outside activities, going away at weekends with Lion Boys Club. It was just something that took my mind away from the anger and probably gave my anger a competitive element and so I could get that much more out of it and it was the one place where I felt like people were watching me for the right reasons rather than for the wrong reasons and also it was nice to bring home trophies and certificates to show my dad that was always nice. When I got out of the youth club, then basically we were back on the street, a large group of boys and a few girls with nothing to do and nowhere to go except to cause trouble. And the trouble kind of, as you got older, became progressively more serious. Drink and drugs, definitely, they just go with it and fuel the fire of the trouble that comes to you. And then it involves more serious things. Fights turn into fights with weapons and 
and all sorts of stuff like that. And I'm not proud of anything that I've, I've ever done. Maybe at the time, as childish as it sounds, you probably are a little tiny bit, but as you grow up, you realise that one, no you're not, and two, you find that you're quite ashamed and a little bit disgusted with some of the situations that you found yourself in in, in those days. As I got older, and we all got older, the gang got smaller. People going to prison, people being seriously injured, and the occasional person getting a job is pretty much what it was like. I kind of thought that I was missing out on something. I was missing out on a proper life, not just existing from day to day or week to week, but being able to plan for a future for next year for five years time. And when you hang around in a gang, you, there is no long-term plan. You say there is, but deep down when you go home and shut your door, there isn't really a long-term plan. You're just happy to have got home and survived another day and you're just worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow and what's going to happen next week. So I, I kind of realised I need to do something and I need to do something that's positive. I felt really proud and lucky to be involved with an organisation like the London Fire Brigade on top of the fact that my mum and dad and everyone else in my family were so happy and proud that one of their family members was actually in the fire brigade. After all the good and bad experiences that I've had along the way. Being a partner and a father has opened my eyes up even more to the fact that I don't want this lifestyle for myself or for my son. I haven't changed much, I'm still Jay. The only difference is if someone stopped me and started on me in the street, I'm more inclined to walk away because I've got responsibilities now and I've got something to lose and something positive to look forward to. I'm still in a gang, the only difference is my gang does positive things instead of negative things. Has my life changed? Massively, massively. Okay, yeah. I do a job, it's quite dangerous, I put my life on the line, but what I get out of that is far, 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 far more rewarding than anything I ever got from anything I ever did hanging around in the streets. Sounds silly, but that's pretty much what it is.